Hi dancers and welcome to an Elite Youth Classical Coaching video. Today's video we're going to focus on foot strengthening exercises. Now this is especially targeted towards dancers working on point or dancers doing pre-point getting ready to go into their point shoes. Now dancers working in point shoes, it's so important for you to have really strong intrinsic muscles in the feet and the ankles to make sure that you're working safely, correctly and to avoid injury. So these exercises will really help to strengthen those muscles for you, especially if you can fit them in every single day. For our foot strengthening exercises, I'm going to use two pieces of equipment today, a TheraBand and just a squishy ball which you can buy from any dancewear store or any sports store. For our first exercise, we're going to use the TheraBand and you're going to be sitting, this is just a simple foot articulation exercise. So you'll put the TheraBand around the ball of your foot and now you want to make sure your leg is completely parallel so you're not turned in and you're not turned out, your toes are pointing straight up and your knee is pointing straight up. We're just gonna do a simple point and flex, but really nice and slow. So make sure you're going through the ankle first, keeping the toes flexed, then point the toes, and then on the way up, you reverse that. So flex the toes up, keeping the ankle pointed, and then flex the ankle up. So we're gonna do that 10 times, really controlled, really working through the ankle. The next exercise is called doming. Now for this one, I suggest that you do it standing up just so that you're putting a little bit of extra pressure on your foot so that it strengthens the muscles just a little bit more. So what you're gonna do is try and flatten out and lengthen your toes as much as possible. And then keeping the toes flat, I want you to try and pick up just the knuckles so that the toes are staying long and you're working the intrinsics from underneath the foot to really strengthen the metatarsals. This one's really tricky, so if you need to have a couple of goes, or you can get that really controlled movement. Just work on that until the toes are doing what you want them to and then aim for 10 times on each foot. So while you're doing your doming, really try not to crunch and curl the toes. You want to keep the toes as long and flat as possible. If you're having trouble doing this just on the floor, you can add a towel underneath your toes and then work on pulling the towel up closer and closer to you. But again, just make sure you're really not curling the toes at all. The next exercise, you're going to be working on your toe isolation. So this one's really tricky, but it's about training the brain to be able to use one toe at a time. And this is really important for your point work so that you're really sure of what's happening inside your point shoe on each toe. So what we're going to do is sit flat on the floor and if you want to you can put your hands next to your feet and you can do the same, mo same motion with your fingers as what you're going to do with your toes. Alright so we're going to try and flatten out our toes again the same way that we did with the start of our doming and what we're going to try and do is lift up from the outside so from your pinky toes and press down with each toe one at a time, which is really tricky to do. So what we're going to try and do is go up and go one, two, three, four, five, and repeat that five times in a row. So if you're having trouble with your toe isolations, a really good way to train those muscles is by using your TheraBand. And if you take it and fold it in half, just so that you get a little bit more tension, and then you place that under each separate toe. So I'm gonna do my big toe first. And then you pull up with the TheraBand, and you try and flatten and keep the other toes really still while you just work that one toe at a time. And you can do this with each separate toe. If you do about 10 with each toe, that'll really 
help your toe isolations because your brain will start to understand how to send messages to just that one muscle. For our last exercise, we're going to be focusing on ankle stability. Now, this is so important in your point shoes to make sure that you're working correctly and also so that you avoid injury. So for this one, we're going to use our TheraBand and tie it around. I've used a bar leg here, but any stable surface that you have is fine. If you tie it around and then you're going to pop your ankle inside that to do some calf rises, really working on keeping this shape nice and straight the whole way up and down. So while we're in this position, the TheraBand is pulling your ankle inwards. So you want to work really hard to keep your ankle pulling away to avoid giving into that resistance and going into a sickle. Then when we spin around, it's the opposite. And you've got to work really hard in those stability muscles to keep your ankle nice and straight. Thanks for watching an EYCC video. I hope you learned something today. If you did, leave me a comment and let me know. Bye dancers.